everybody's not cut out for tower climbing. It's a specialized individual. Once you find someone that likes to climb safely, that feels comfortable working at heights, that's a good candidate, candidate to train further into testing and proper installation techniques. Our tower crews are, are limited and it's hard to find good personnel and we put people through two and three interviews before we hire them. This crew that's on site today, we have Kenny, he's our site supervisor. And then we have Byron and Derek, which are top hands. They work everything up top. And then we have Kevin, that's a trainee. We have four men on site, two on the tower, two on the ground. If something were to happen to someone on the tower, we have two guys on the ground that could get up safely and bring a guy down to the ground in a quick amount of time. You hear how dangerous tower climbing is, uh, but uh, safety's pushed. We have an in-house safety manager, safety meetings every, every Monday, you know, uh, you know, every job's talked about before they start the job, you know, what hazards exist on the job. I don't know if everyone realizes how much goes into that and uh, how much safety is pushed in this business. You know, if you have a bad rating, you can't get, you can't work for a big carrier. If you, if you have black marks on your record, you're not going to get work for, from them. So it's, it's, a, it's a big deal. So basically, before we climb the tower, we're going to want to fill out a job hazard analysis form, have our closest medical um, center readily available in case there is an injury. Then we check our safe climb. There's a cable that goes up the tower. We make sure the safe climb is in good order, not rusted, and we always maintain 100% tie off. The climbers will have a fall safe hooked to their chest, and as they're climbing up to the tower, they're hooked up to a cable with minimal distance. So if something were to happen, they hit their head, they're not gonna fall to the ground. Um, once you're up top, you have a, a fall arrest lanyard and it's a, it's a twin lanyard and you move from section to section and you're always 100% tied off. We'll rig our ropes up, send our rope down, and then we'll have a tag rope. So basically we have ropes coming back and forth from top to bottom. We send something up, we can pull the rope back down. We want the guys on the tower to work as little as possible. We don't want them getting tired out. They don't need to be pulling stuff up. Everything's pulled from the ground up to them for easy installation. Um, since the day I started, I received, I mean, numerous of training. Um, come training, learn how to rescue, um, learn how to descend. Um, we went through OSHA, we have been through RF awareness, you know, cause some towers, you know, they have live feed with the frequency and you can get burnt. So we have to learn a lot of different things. You know, a lot, of, a lot of dangerous stuff could happen, you know, death or serious injuries if you don't use the correct rigging on things and, you know, pay attention to what's going on. You know, everybody has to be on their game because uh, everybody's lives are in each other's hands. It is dangerous, so you have to watch what you're doing, watch what somebody else is doing, and uh, make sure it's safe for everybody, including the people on the ground, not just you. You just want to make sure that all your rigging and uh, things are probably as safe as possible because, uh, you know, it comes off the ground and something fails with what you rigged it to, then that's everybody else's lives in your hands, so you definitely need to be on your game. It depends on the job, but you can end up staying up there all day, 12 hours sometimes, even longer. After so many hours in the sun, you'll kind of get weak, so you really have to be aware of what you're doing to stay safe. The most difficult is pretty much the climb. You know, it's a full body workout climbing up and down the towers. Sometimes we climb, you know, we have to carry the rope up to rig the tower. And you know, it's a lot of weight pulling on you. As you climb in, you get tired. Um, you know, your arms start burning, just like a workout. You know, your arms start burning. So you have to sometimes tie off and you rest, take your five minute rest and then you climb again. You know, some people climb every 100 feet. Some people climb every 50. The climb is pretty much the hardest. Once you get the climb out the way, Yep, and you're relaxing. First couple times you climb, you're a little nervous, but then you become aware of the dangers and kind of comfortable with them. You know what to look out for, but at the same time still being safe, and uh, it becomes normal. It's your everyday job. Uh, well, I like this type of work. I mean, I like the, I used to like to climb all the time, and work is just something different that a lot of people don't see, and it's just something I enjoy doing, you know, and I, I had the opportunity to to move up and you know become a supervisor over the towers. I learned testing and a number of different other things and you know I just enjoy doing it. The thing I like the most about um, working on top of the tower is uh, hanging different different types of things you know the higher you know kind of uh, adrenaline rush maybe. I really don't know how to explain it. You kind of feel free I guess free in a way.
the guys that you work around with, if you make a bond with them, you know, it makes your job a lot easier. You know, everybody communicating with one another because we actually see each other more than we actually see our families because we're always on the road, we're always working. You know, we work long hours and long days. So I say just the guys who I'm around, that what makes me enjoy my job more. My favorite part about climbing towers is being outside all the time. And uh, it's never the same tower, never the same place. You're always getting to see new places. And uh, the freedom of being able to climb and be up there kind of by yourself, it's real peaceful and uh, serene, actually. My advice for anyone want to try it is, I mean, I don't know. First off, you can't be afraid of heights. What I think would make a good tower climber, um, somebody that listens real well, you know, willing to learn. To be able to take, you know, criticism. You gotta have a big heart, because, you know, there's a lot of things a lot of other people don't want to do up there. The first time I climbed towers, I, I mean, I actually was nervous, and I left and didn't come back, and the guy came back for me, uh, like two weeks later, and I went out again, and, you know, it was, I enjoyed being up, you know, looking at the scenery, seeing different type of sceneries, and you know, just being, I guess, just doing something I've never seen in the one, never even seen it done before. You got room to move, you're out in the open, you're not in the office all day, and uh, you get an amazing view. The first time I ever got on tower, I hung from the bottom of the mount, and I just, I don't know, I just had a rush, you know, so it just hooked me from there and I've been doing it ever since, so. When I first get up there, it feels like I'm the, I'm the king of the world. You know, I stand up there and I just look around and I check out the atmosphere and it just feels like you're on top of the world.